Hello there, app.net. It's Cosmo here, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of a new Chrome extension that I've built called Blimshot, uh, which is an, a Blims-powered application uh, that makes it very easy to share links to app.net uh, from other websites, which include a little screenshot um, that is used as the thumbnail in the post, um, and also provides a means for sort of visual bookmarking. Uh, as you can see here, these are all test posts of uh, various things, YouTube videos, websites and stuff that I've, uh, that I've uh, shared using Blimshot to app.net. So let's show you how to use it. After installing it, uh, you will see a, a little button up here in the right hand corner to the, uh, on, on the right of the address bar. And what you can do is when you're on a website here, let's, um, let's find a website. In fact, let's go to a YouTube video here. Here's a YouTube video, um, which oh, I'll just pause it there. There's me doing a, a video, so I don't want to ruin it for you. And if I actually click on the, the, the Blimshot icon up there, it slightly dims the page and lets you effectively draw, draw a rectangle around and create a, um, create a screenshot of any part of the web page. Obviously, uh, I want to share this bit here. And then you click the tick, and what you can do is you can uh, click the screenshot again to, uh, to cancel it. Also, you can click the X up here to cancel the whole interface. So let's relaunch it again, select an area, so I want to share this YouTube video, click the tick, and then what's, what it, uh, it automatically puts in the title of the page that you're on in there. And you have the options here of including the URL or making the whole text of the post the URL using annotations in app.net. So if I edit this text here, and then simply go click to share and upload to app.net. It posts it to Blims and makes the post to app.net. So I can then click on this post here uh, and see the uh, the post that was made by the Blimshot. By Blimshot. So we have the thumbnail in there as well that I drew on the page, and then a link to the YouTube video. Um, let's try another one just quickly. I just sort of show you. Let's. Uh, Find uh, tracking Europe's alien invasion. What's this? No, let's find. Uh, anyway, you get the picture. <laughs> uh, I could demonstrate this, and also, in fact, let's do this one. Let's, so here's a here's like a um, uh, graphics crash, which is a good little uh, blog with all sorts of design on it. Let's say I want to share this. There's an animated GIF here. Obviously, I won't be able to share. It won't be animated, but I can then click on here. Say the future will be confusing. Take a screenshot of that. Let's uh, give it a title here: "The Future." Upload and share, and it's done. Makes it dead simple to create these visual bookmarks on Blims. So if I re reload the Blims page here, we can see there's the screenshot that I took. There's the previous one. I can click on that to load it, and then. If I click on the link here or down here, I'll actually be taken to the web page itself. There it is. Uh, so there you go. Um, uh, that's all there is. It's very, very simple. Um, it's a free uh, Chrome extension on the uh, web store. Uh, if you have any problems, let me know at COSO uh, on app.net. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. And as always, thank you for your patience and your attention. Cheers.